Hi, and welcome to another Breaker Fast food review. And in this one, I'm gonna be doing a Linda McCartney. I hadn't done a Linda McCartney before. We're having a crack at her meatballs. Linda McCartney's vegetarian meatballs. Meat-free, pioneer since 1991. Vegetarian Society Vegan Approved. Eh? Vegan Approved, but Vegetarian Meatballs. It, that's confusing. They've got to be only vegetarian friendly, surely. Um, and yet that's got that there, son. Vegan Society approved. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Anyway, right, what have we got? So, Linda McCartney, what's the soya? Uh, what is the protein source? Soya, I think. Soya protein. And that is the allergen. And that is the only allergen. No, hang on. Bar barley. Barley's in bold as well. Right, okay. Um, no traffic lights, there's no traffic lights, so let's get straight on to the calories. Okay, so what is the average calories for break of fast products or reviewed? And that is per 100 grams, 223 calories. I start to stable out now because I've done. I think it's 30 now. I've done 30 products. Well, if you have a big difference, that'll only move by, you know, if you if I had a difference to that by 30, it would only move by one, one calorie. So it's looking like the average calories for this type of product is going to be hovering around that area, 223. Anyway, what's this? Do I need? No, I don't need these. 162 calories per 100 grams. Okay, so in 1991, Linda's love of animals, the planet, food and family inspired a revolutionary new veggie food company. Today, more than ever, its caring and sustainable values make us proud to be part of what she started. Plant-based food with for planet Earth from a heart from our heart to your home. <coughs> price. The price of this, £2.50. And for that, you get 399 grams. Family value pack. That's pretty good value, to be fair. £2.50 for 400 grams. That's good value. Um, so up here, it says seasoned vegetarian meat style balls made with rehydrated textured soy protein, onion puree and basil. Now, cooking instructions. Now you have got a choice. I normally do meatballs in on the hob in a wok. I normally just fry them up. But you, you can do them in the hob or the oven. So I think I'm going to do these in the oven. And it's saying... Fan up 180 degrees for 14 minutes. So how much has that got to cost me to cook in my oven for 14 minutes plus preheat of 8 minutes? Let's have a look on my little chart. So what's that? 14 plus 8 is 22 minutes. It's going to cost me 19 pence to cook these. Right, I think it's time to fire up the oven. And get some food on the plate. Oh -ho! Right, guys, here it is. Here is my meal for today. Have a look at that. Lovely old jubbly. Oh, Bob, he does this to me every time. <sighs> Hurry up, Bozzles. Might as well have a drink myself. 
Right, Bob's finished his drink. So what we've got here is obviously the Linda McCartney meatballs. Um, they look all right. Don't smell them much. Um, it's got them pasta, mascarpone sauce, and then I've just done the old garlic bread and put some cheese in there. So right, let's get stuck into this. Let's break my fast. So let's have a go on a meatball first. Oh, they're pretty good to be fair. I don't normally have much of Linda McCartney's. I've gone off her stuff a bit. Oh, blimey heck. Don't need no two guesses to guess where Boo Boo is. Right, he's out now. Come on, Boo Boo. So, yeah, these, these are all right. Let's have another go. Alright Bobo. Now they're not the last ones I did were I think the Morrison's Plant Revolution. They were more had a more meatier texture and more flavour to be fair. But these aren't too bad. They're all right, to be honest. Especially when you smother them in um, sauce and eat them with other things. What do you think of these? Oi, you can get your eyes off them. No, you're not having a kick about. What do you think of these? Oi, you can get your eyes off them. No, you're not having a kick about. Ah, oh, I was going to do the bounce back ability test, but there is no bounce back ability. Has filed that badly. Look. None. I sort of thought it was going to be soft. But, to be honest, I thought it was going to have a little bit of resistance. Wow, that's nowhere near up to the standard of the plant revolution. I mean, that was like properly spring and back. That was like you'd sort of get with meat. Mmm. A bit of garlic bread. Garlic bread. Cool. Morrison Savers garlic bread, 32p. No. Frozen, get them frozen, 32p. Defrost them and just whack some extra mature cheddar in there. Whack it in the oven for 10 minutes. Oh, honestly, it's, it's as good as any garlic bread. Right, let's have another go on this. Mm. Oh, that's a world of, world of difference when you eat one with nothing on it and then have one 
with a bit of sauce, a little bit of cheese, a bit of pasta. It high it it does mask the actual quality of the Mm. Right, okay. Let's give it a score. Now, what are the other? I've only done, I mean, these are in the mince category, the um, meatballs. And I haven't actually done any mince yet. The reason for that is I have had a bad experience with... Uh, meat-free mints and I'm really sort of putting off going back there because that was a few years ago and I ain't had any since and I'm just avoiding going back there but I'm sure it's improved since then so I've only got two products in this category so far what I've done and that's the plant revolution and the oldie now I gave a plant revolution a nine and the oldie a 7.2 this is sitting definitely in between them well we know what an eight get or oh, excuse me go on boo boo while you're up there ding the bell my man go on ding it you're there look just give it one of them bosh yes he's <laughs> done it Oh, half-hearted, but yeah, I don't need to do it. Well done, boo-boo. Right. Um, what was it? What was I saying, boo-boo? What was I saying? Oh, blimey, my, my mind's gone blank. Uh, yeah, to get an eight, to get an eight, it's got to be tasty. And I'd buy it again. Right. Here we go. Is it tasty? Well, I've got to judge it for what it actually is. Not that what other things can mask it. And there's not a huge amount of taste in there. And because Plant Revolution, uh, um, although this is probably better value for money, that that was a far superior product for me so i wouldn't buy it again because i'd buy that one ahead of this one all day long but it is better than the oldie version um although the oldie version was a lot less money so when you do you know i think this is getting a 7.5 Seven. Disappointing. 7.5, boo-boo. That's disappointing. But there we go, guys. It is what it is. Now, later on tonight, I'm still not back on the something sweets yet. That cupboard has still got stuff in it I need to plow through. And I'm actually going to double. So what I'll be doing is a head-to-head. -head, and I've actually got something in there that I can use as a head-to-head -head. so that'll help take some of that away and i'll be able to get a head-to-head -head video out of it and this head-to-head -head, uh the last one was obviously salt and vinegar or cheese and onion i mean come on what is your favorite salt and vinegar or cheese and onion that was the first head-to-head -head. crisps i'm obviously talking about now this one i won't say what it is all I'll say is, is a Christmas product, but it's the head-to-head -head is going to be homemade versus supermarket uh, brand. So if you want to find out what it is, you'll need to tune in to the next video. Hey, boo-boo, which will go out the day after this one. Right, guys, so there we are. That is another Fast Broken Buy a Food Review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me and the old custard kitty on that head-to-head, -head, cause no doubt he will be sat right behind me, giving up one of them. Oh, he'd love to give one of these a kick around, I'll tell ya. Oh, take care, guys. God, look at this boo-boo. You'd love to get stuck into these, wouldn't you? 
Oh, unlucky boy. <laughs> cool. Lovely. That sauce is lovely. Boo boo. <laughs>